Hello, 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 you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I am here for a quick card pull on this beautiful day, 1111. It is a huge manifestation portal for the next six months. So you don't have to work too hard at it, but just try to help get yourself in alignment today. Get yourself feeling good. <laughs> First one. Ask for a sign, be specific, then be grateful when it arrives. So if there's a decision you're needing to make, or if you're just feeling like you're scared about your future path and you don't know which direction to go in, ask your guides, your angels, the universe, whatever you would like to call it, ask it for a sign. It will come through if it's what's meant to be. And no sign is also a sign. Okay. Don't forget that. You can ask for animals, you can ask for a song on the radio, you can ask for um, maybe you love actors or certain actresses or movie stars, say you could say their name and be like, bring them into my reality in some way, whether somebody talks about them, you see their name written somewhere, you can, you can literally ask for anything. Okay, we have your angels have been trying to communicate with you through numbers, 1111, <laughs> how funny. So funny. Uh, 333-444-1234-777-888-1212. They're telling you, you are in the flow. Heck yes. Our guides are sassy. It's 1111 and we got the 1111 card. <laughs> this card keeps coming up over and over and over again. Your higher love is on the way. You have done all the work. Sit back and receive now. And this message is for somebody out there who maybe you were just such a giver in all of your relationships before, and now it's your turn to receive. Now you don't have to give so much and you deserve to be treated like a king or queen. Okay, let's do original tarot. Let's see what comes through. Okay, <laughs> we have the emperor. This is divine masculine. And he is working on his pentacles. Pentacles are earthly possessions, money, um, a home, um, getting his finances together. So he's building abundance. And that is to provide for you, divine feminines, if you're watching. So the emperor is the divine masculine. He is this grounded, strong, um, and if he's not grounded and strong yet, he's working his way to get there. That's what I just heard. Hence him, this guy over here. All right, let's get um, let's get an animal card. Spirit animal wisdom. These are all purchased on Amazon. Okay, we have the giraffe. See the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. So seeing the bigger picture. The divine masculine is seeing the bigger picture now. He sees the connection. He sees what's going on. He's working on himself. He really wants to be the emperor for you. Um, he's not proud of his actions. He's not proud of his behaviors and his habits but he wants to work on himself. And this is saying he's kind of got a better perspective now. Maybe something's happened in your connection. Maybe something happened in his life. Maybe there was a death in the family, a job loss, um, a breakup. Something sparked him to go higher and to look at the, the situation and be like, oh my gosh, like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I need to get my shit together and I need to start working on myself because I don't want to live the rest of my life suffering. And I just heard that a lot of divine masculines have been searching for their purpose and their passion, and they've reached many milestones and they still don't feel fulfilled. And a lot of times that's because what's missing is the divine connection, the higher love. A lot of times the divine masculine and the divine feminine have a mission together. 
And once they come together in love, then it's like, oh, that feeling goes away. That like that bottomless pit feeling when you finally come together with your person and you're like, okay, I finally feel at home now. Now we create, now we build abundance. Now we co-create this beautiful life together. But sometimes it takes the masculine to have to go off and search in all these different directions. And then he's got to realize that he's not finding fulfillment anywhere else, but with you, divine feminine, with you at home, in your arms, in your love. <laughs> we have the bear card. You are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. And when you divine feminine step into your light, and shine, that's when you draw your masculine in. When you are just on your mission, doing your thing, their light, they come out of hibernation and they're just magnetically drawn to you. And then we have the chameleon, soul tribe. It is safe to be seen. So we have two, two cards saying it's time to be together. It's time to be seen together. No more hiding, no more hiber hibernating and no more trying to blend in with the crowd. It is safe now. You are meant to be together and it's time to stand in your power, make the choice, ask your guides and angels for help if you need it, but it is time to shine, no more hiding. And maybe that's the, the emperor energy. Maybe he's realizing I'm done hiding who I am. I'm done searching, I want, to be on with my life. I want to like live life. I want to enjoy life. I don't want to suffer and keep feeling like I'm on this hamster wheel. And I can relate to that a lot. In the last month, I've just been like feeling like I'm in this energy of just like, all right, it's time to do my mission. And I'm already on my mission, but I feel like there's a piece missing. There's somebody missing in my life who I'm supposed to be um, shining my light with. And I can just feel it. And I just, I don't know who it is. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's just this energy of, okay, let's go. Like we got shit to do. Like we didn't come here just to fuck around <laughs> and, you know, just do mundane stuff. Um, we have a mission to do. We have lives to change. We have people that we need to help. Okay. Let's get two more cards and then we'll call it, call it quits. Cause I have a reading. Oh, I don't have my watch on. I don't know what time it is. Oh, yay. And your relationship, it matches my shirt. How freaking funny, you guys. Are you serious? It blends right in with my shirt. Six of Pentacles. This is even give and take, giving and receiving. You're finally meeting your match, somebody that just loves you so much. And they're wanting to just bow down to you. And you're wanting to just bow down to them in a way, in a healthy service way. They want to serve your needs. They want to meet your needs. You want to meet their needs and it's healthy flow. And if you can see in the background, see this flow, this white light, it's a figure eight, which is the infinity sign. It's everlasting, never ending love. You've lived many lifetimes together. When you met, you were like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know you existed. I've dreamt about you my whole life. And here you are. That's that kind of love. And sometimes people have to go through the working, the healing, the growing to be able to give and to be able to receive like an emperor should. So ladies and gents, remember masculine and feminine energy is not gender related, but if you're a feminine and you like to receive and you want your masculine <clears throat> to be the leader in the partnership. You have to be willing to speak your needs. You have to set boundaries and say, I'm not tolerating this. I would really love it if you could do this. And you speak your truth and you guide your, your emperor. You guide him to what, what, how he can serve you. And you don't settle. Do not stay with a man who is not asking you, what can I do for you? How can I be of service to you? How, how can I... How can I enhance your life? Because they already know that you know how to make yourself happy, but their job is to provide and to protect you. And if they're not asking, how can I provide for you, babe? Or how can I, how can I make you feel more safe? You got to move on because that, that is not an emperor energy. 
That is somebody who's just toying around and taking your light. We can be grateful for those people because they teach us what we don't want. All right. I know I said that was going to be the last card, but we're going to do one more. Perfect. Launching your journey. Yes. Finally, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. You have been waiting for this connection, this higher love to go do your mission. And you can do it on your own, but it's more enhanced with your partner. Bags are packed and they're traveling. Whether that's they're traveling within each other and getting to know each other more. And they're going on this like exploration to really discover what their true mission is together. Because once you come together, it's like a force. You're like, whoa, okay, God made us to fit together. Now, what are we supposed to do now that we found each other? And that's where meditation comes into play, self-care, really opening your, your channel up to listening, listening for the guidance. And I'm so grateful that I've done the work because I already know how to do all of that. I know how to navigate my journey and my mission. And I know when to rest and I know when to take action. Um, and then when you come together with your partner, it's sometimes you have to kind of teach them these steps and tools because they might be a little bit further back on the journey or they might be matching you. And then you bring your two tools together and then you launch your journey. So it is time for somebody out there. You are about to come into union with your partner and you guys are about to go on a journey together. You're about to finally do what you came here to do. All the hard days in the past have led you right now to this moment. All right, lovies, this is an awesome reading for 1111. Because <laughs> if you didn't know, 1111 is the twin flame number. 11 meets 11. It's a twin. It's a mirror. So 44 and 1111 are the twin flame numbers. So how perfect that you're going to begin your journey. You're launching your journey with your twin on 1111. It's coming. Comment below and let me know when it arrives. All right, lovies. I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace out.